We love the internet, but the internet is tracking everything you do. Take control of your online privacy with IP Vanish. People with malicious intent are everywhere, watching you. Criminals can hack your Wi-Fi, while broadband providers and advertisers monitor your data. With IP Vanish on your device, your internet activity is encrypted. No one can see what you're doing. Your location, your connection, completely hidden. Protect your internet privacy today with IP Vanish. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Cooler Man 100X. Welcome back. How you guys doing? Another deep dive in basketball. What's going on? So, what I'm going to be doing, guys, is giving you a deep dive on how to do under the rim dunk animations. Remember, I had a problem with this in my last 2K videos of last year. So, I'm going to do a full breakdown again to give you guys a full detail that you can still do it in NBA 2K22 and give you all a brief break now tutorial on how to do all the animations or different heights and weights and all that stuff as well i will be having breakdowns for that too in well in this video so let's get into it welcome back i hope y'all enjoyed the video let's jump right into it guys all right guys the first thing we want to look at is our controller settings what i want you to do is go to the option menu go to the controller settings and go down to pro stick function you will not be able to do these dunk animations under the rim inside the key if you do not have a pro stick function on default you must have this on default to do these inside dunk animations there's no other way around it i'm sorry to say it does not work with the square button correctly this is the only way to do it because you will be snapped back if you have it on dribble moves do not put it on dribble moves i repeat leave it on default for pro stick function that is what you want to do for the controller settings that is all that is the main thing you want to do before we jump into any of this so make sure you have that pro stick function on default all right now Let's move into explaining the differences between the dunk, uh, the driving dunk, and also the uh, dunk under the rim. So we're going to be going more into depth with that in the future in this video. So let's jump into it. Okay, guys, now I'm going to be explaining to you the difference between a driving dunk and a standing dunk after you set up your controls and everything as well. So we're going to be explaining to you that as well, a driving dunk and the difference between a standing dunk. I'm going to be using Zach Levine for an example to show you guys what you have to do to utilize these animations under the rim. And it'd be easier for you to use these animations under the rim. So let's jump into it. Let's dive into it right now. All right, guys, what I'm going to be explaining to you is the driving dunk. You can follow along with the controllers on the right side as well. So you, what you want to do is you want to hold R1, use the left stick drive to the rim, hold the right stick down, and you'll be able to do a driving dunk. You'll be able to do the driving dunk with the square button and the right stick as well. So this is called a driving dunk. So follow along. I will try again for you guys. Left stick, right stick up, driving dunk. That's what you want to focus on. That is what you're doing for a driving dunk. Now you're going to be doing a standing dunk. Make sure you inside the key. Make sure you have your controls on default. This is going to be a standing dunk animation. You want to make sure you're inside the key. And you want to hold R1, press the right stick up, and you'll be able to do the standing dunk animations at all. In dunk animations, you want to hold R1, press the right stick up. You will not be able to do this without setting your controls, so make sure you do that. So make sure you're inside the key, anywhere inside the key, and hold right stick up, and you'll be able to do these animations inside the key, which is called the standing dunk animations. So, I hope you guys. So, let's jump into the different players. Okay, guys, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be breaking down each player that I use for examples on how to do the dunk animation with height variables and attributes as well. So, the players I'm going to be using is Donovan Mitchell, John ja, uh, ja Morant, Zach Levine, Jimmy Butler, and Giannis. So, these will be the players that I'll be using to utilize and show you guys 
do they do the standing duck animations with the height variable and the attributes as well. So let's jump into it and dive into it. Okay guys, we're gonna be starting off on Donovan Metro from the Utah Jazz. His height is 6'1", his standing dunk is 50, and his dunk is 92. Just like I said, we're gonna see if he can do the dunk animations at this height. As you can see, he only does layups, as you can see. Make sure you're inside the key. He's not giving me any dunk animations at all. So 6-1 is not the height to utilize this standing dunk animation. So as you can see here, he's not giving me any dunk animations. I'm pressing R1 and right stick up. He's not giving me any dunk animations. So 6-1 would not be the height to utilize this animation to pop up and stunk animations so now let's move on to the next player all right now we're going to be using john morant from the memphis grizzlies his height is 63 his standing dunk is 25 and his dunk is 94. you want to make sure you're inside the key we're going to be using the right stick up and see if he does it so 63 would not be the height to utilize this as well he do not do any standing dunk animations under the rim at all so you want to make sure you're not at 63, which are my player as well. And make sure you're inside the key to utilize it. And he does not does that. Don't do these animations at all. So let's go on and move on to the next player. All right, guys. Now we're going to be utilizing Zach Levine from the Chicago Bulls. His height is 6'5", his standing dunk is 60, and his dunk is 95. Make sure you're inside the key. So you want to press R2, R1. So it really doesn't matter about amount of standing dunk you have, it comes down to the height ability. So 6'5 would be the starting height to utilize doing these dunk animations inside the key. So once he's inside the key, you can actually do any type of dunk animation you want. So yeah, 6'5 would be the starting height. And that's pretty much what we're going to be going with. So we're going to move on to the next player. All right, guys. So we're going to be utilizing Jimmy Butler in front of Miami Heat. Um, Jimmy Butler height is 6'7". His standing duck is 40. And his dunk is 80. So we're going to be utilizing this inside the key. Hold the R2 button and right stick up. And he will be able to do it. So 6'7 will be another height where you can do the standing duck animations inside the key. So 6-7 will be doable inside the key. Anything under that will be a problem. So 6-5 and up will probably be the way to go. So yeah, this will probably be the way to go as we go along. So we're gonna move on to the last and final player to help guys with their big men. So we're gonna move on to the last and final player. All right, guys, our last person we're gonna be using Giannis. His height is 6'11", his standing dunk is 85, and his dunk is 90. We're gonna go inside the key and press R1, I mean R2, right stick up, <laughs> and did it so much. And he pretty much utilized this animation every time. So we already know 6'11 would be the height to utilize as well or up so yeah from six five and up you pretty much can utilize doing the under the rim duck animation all height requirements is under the rim so you can definitely utilize each player as you can see here Giannis can do the animations very easily so let's end this video now all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much i hope this will definitely help you out how to do the standing dunk animations under the rim inside the key so take it to the park leave it in the comments below and tell me what you think about it also and i catch you guys in the next video i'm out of here guys deuces